What does it mean to have a minimum price as a photographer? Last Wednesday, I did a poll on X asking if photographers had a minimum price. The poll came up with 25% of photographers choosing yes, 25% saying no, and then 12% not knowing what that was. They had no idea what having an, a minimum price was. But then I do believe that they do know the concept, but then they just have not established it. That being said, I will explain in the most basic way what a minimum price is. I went to Cantamanto Market in Accra and saw some nice trousers. I wasn't planning on buying any, but I asked the seller how much they cost, thinking they might be around 100 cities. Since I was on a tight budget and didn't need the trousers at the time, I negotiated with the seller for a lower price because Charlie, we all know say if you go counter, if you buy something, we Charlie, sometimes the price they drop. You know, but then however, he eventually said no. We negotiated for a long time and then he said no. Not he said no in a sense that he cannot go any lower and that that was his last price. No matter what I said after that, he wouldn't budge. That was his final minimum non-negotiable price. Therefore, a minimum price is a price that cannot be changed or adjusted. If the seller feels he's going to lose or run at a loss selling at a lower price, he will never sell. And this is what I think happens with photographers today. It's not that it's be because they don't have a minimum price. All right, they just take anything because they don't even know they are running at a loss because they treat everything they get from their business, every money, every little money they get from the business, they treat it as profit and not revenue. Now, treat your photography business like the way the man selling the trousers treated his business. When prospects come to you to negotiate, have a price point where you refuse to go lower. If you negotiate lower, you are always going to be running at a loss. You beginners in this circle tend to think that, like I said, whatever money you make in your business is equal to profit. No. Revenue is very different from profit. Revenue is like the total amount of money you make from selling your work or craft. It's all the cash that goes into your wallet with every single sale. Whoever calls you to uh, for a photo shoot or whatever, whatever gig it is, that money you get is what you call your revenue, everything you get. So every image sold, every CD or Naira end goes straight into your revenue bucket. Now, what is profit? Profit is what is left after you take all the expenses or all the cost out of your revenue wallet. It's like the money that stays after you've paid for the cost of printing, transport, and anything that costs you to make the photograph. I hope you are getting the point. Now, let's look at five benefits of having probably four, probably five. I, I was writing by then, you know. Let's look at benefits of having and establishing a minimum price as a photographer. Now, in speaking about um, minimum price, I'm in no way saying charge the least amount. I'm saying charge what you are worth. Now, when you hear this phrase, charge what you are worth, you assume I'm saying charge like a mad person. No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is charge reasonably that you do not run your business at a loss. Charging a minimum price is factoring all the cost, all the cost that's going to take for you to make that image for your prospect or your client and when you do that also charge for what my uncle will call workmanship in other words charging for your service last week i traveled to the central region to take photographs now the central region is very different from accra and the way photography business is run uh, I go there shooting for a client and I'm having a blast so this woman approached me asking if I could take photos of her too I did not hesitate and shot. It was almost like a festival. Music everywhere, face paintings everywhere, and powder everywhere. <laughs> I met her brother, uh, her brother, yeah. I met her brother a few hours after the event, 
and he asked me how much I was going to take. I named my price and he screamed. He could not get it. Seriously, he screamed. Everyone was looking at us. So I had to like take him away. <laughs> and uh, I also did not get it because the price I named was normal to me. It was like, yo, I wasn't even charging him. Later on, I understood that where I found myself, the photographers do not charge for their services, but they charge for their products. Now, what do I mean? I mean, they only sell printed images. In Ghana, we say Jina Hoje. In English, it's like instant. You take images and get an instant print. That is what I mean by Jina Hoje. That moment, I understood why the photographers around priced so low. They were only selling prints and that is what I call the product. I was selling products and offering my services in the sense that I'm charging for my services, being there and then clicking the shutter button. It's all part of it, you know. It was almost unheard of. I had to price like the other local photographers to avoid any back and forth. And that was it. Why did I even share this? Anyway, here are benefits of having an absolute minimum price. Benefit number one, there is stability in income. Having a minimum price means you have a baseline income, providing financial stability for your photography business. If you do not have a minimum price, it means you can negotiate further below the belt and lose a great deal. And you always have to be complaining about not having enough money. It's because you are refusing to have a minimum price. Like the trouser seller in Cantamanto, he would not give in because he knows giving in would mean he is going to lose. Benefit number two, less time is spent in negotiation. Dealing with negotiations can be tiring. It is tiring. Sometimes you don't want to do that all the time. If a prospect believes your work to be valuable, you don't try to convince them. You don't have to convince them that the price they are paying will be worth it because they already know. And you know they are not convinced when they keep negotiating for a lower price. Please don't settle. Please, please, please just don't settle. When it seems like the negotiations are prolonging, make your absolute minimum price known to them. Make it known. In as much as you love the prospect and want to shoot for them, you also have a business to run. Benefit number three, you attract serious clients. Establishing a minimum price will attract more serious clients and prospects who understand quality and are willing to pay for quality services. Seriously, if you play around with this and do not have a minimum price, you are going to go broke. Nobody will pay what you are worth. Benefit number four, increased confidence. Establishing a fixed price demonstrates your value. This boosts your confidence. It helps you attract clients as well. I like to say this, that confidence in a negotiation is 50% of the work. Be confident in your abilities, in your price, and deliver. Embrace your value as a photographer. Now, that's a wrap. If you love this podcast, make sure you leave a review and um, share this episode with other creatives. See you in the next one.